Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, March 11, 2021. We'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have basically run, basically fallen in the US dollar index. At this point, it is most likely we're going to head back towards the 20 exponential. If that uh, offers support, then we'll rally from here and head back towards these highs and then the 200 moving average. Break below the 20, opens the door to the 50 moving average at 1952. Technical indicators are turning around. This was a major rally. We went way outside of the bullish band here, got very overstretched, and now we're heading back down. So it does mean that we are going to all the way down to the bottom here. Just means that we are going to pull back towards probably the 21st before going higher. So this will be this fall here will most likely be very bullish for for commodities, precious metals, and so on for the next uh, few days. So let's look at oil so as you can see we did fall the last uh, two days and then today we rallied a little bit so we got close to the 20 exponential i basically wanted it to go all the way down to the 20 so in order to buy this so pull back to all the way down to 61.53 that is about probably the best entry point that you can get for this if you want to buy it break below this that opens the door to the 50 so Technical indicators, they are uh, well, rarely mixed. MACD is flat, CCI is bearish, the, uh, the stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. So, yes, take out a rally here, then we'll basically head back towards the 67.8. Otherwise, pull back towards the 20, that will most likely offer quite a lot of support, as that has been very supportive in the past. So let's look at natural gas. Yes, we have turned around a little bit. We're still trading underneath the 50 and the 20 exponential. Uh, we'll probably have a crossing here of the 20 and the, 50, and the 50, which will be fairly bearish for the momentum of this uh, price action. So technically, the condition, they are slowly turning around stochastic is crossed the signal line macd is bearish the cci is still underneath 100 so it's still it's raw it's basically turning around but it's still bearish and the rsi is flat at this point so it is basically in no man's land if this offered resistance that we could see a pullback towards the 200 moving average break above the 50 and the 20 then we can go to these highs here of uh, 2.89 and then to 3.09 so let's look at copper so copper continues to basically uh, well stay right at the 20 exponential we have this uh, we can draw this line up here so this right line there so if we manage to break out through this line then we are going to see this go significantly higher Otherwise, breaking below the 20 exponential opens the door to the 50 at the 3.78. Uh, but at this point, it is more likely that we will continue higher as this has been in an uptrend and is basically an uptrend. If we get right there. So, so, so we have an uptrend. This was a massive rally to the upside. At the moment, we are drifting lower, technically looking like uh, a, a flag pattern here. Um, if we get into this corner here, we'll most likely break towards the upside. That is probably what is going to happen in this market uh, for the foreseeable future. But break below here, that opens the door to the 50. So let's look at gold. So gold continues to rally. Um, as the US dollar depreciates, this will it will be uh, bullish for, for gold and that's also what we're seeing at this point but it will most likely not go higher than 1750 that is most likely where sellers will come back in and then sell this to the downside so we have um, a trend line that goes around there so we see that we tested it once twice and a third time as well break below this trend line here that opens the door to 1600 and then 1500 at the moment, we're having a pullback after this massive fall where we went outside of the bullish band, got very overstretched, and now we're just seeing a pullback towards the 20 exponential. So let's look at silver. 
So silver also rallies, usually when gold rallies and silver also follows. Technical indicators, they are turning around for silver. If we manage to break above the 20 and the 50, then we will go towards uh, 28. And uh, if we get rejected here, we'll most likely drop back to 25 and then all the way down to the, 20, the 200 moving average at $24. So let's look at platinum. So platinum has really taken off the day. We're trading at the 12 of two. Uh, we crossed the 20, 20 exponential. And uh, at this point, it is very likely that we will go, go higher. This is a really uh, impressive uh, candlestick and a very bullish candlestick. Technical indicators are turning around for, uh, for platinum, which, well, turn around all, all of a sudden. And at this moment, we are most likely going to 1300. So let's look at pallium. So pallium has bounced from the 200 moving average, and now we're heading back towards the 20 exponential and the 50. So it was possible to enter down here as uh, the very lows here at 2.1 or 2.2, and the 20, uh, 200 moving average have offered major support in the past. So entry will be here, here, target of the very highs here of 2.5. That is... Uh, one of two ways to trade this other is to sell it when it's at the top of 2.2 2.5 and the other one is basically sell it at buy it at the bottom so let's look let's look at um, at aluminium so aluminium has uh, tried to rally and then broke down at the moment we are basically all over the place so we at least know that the 20 exponential is offering quite a lot of support. So a break towards the 20 exponential, that will most likely be an area where buyers will come in and buy into this. But otherwise, aluminium has been all over the place. We had this massive rally here, and since then we just go, it looks like somebody threw a snowball at this screen because it is just completely everywhere. So at the moment, I would stay far away from aluminium until we basically see uh, either a take out from these highs or a break below the 20 to the 50 and a bounce from there or a bounce from the 20 exponential that it could also work so let's look at nickel yes nickel is just hovering here at the, the, the 200 moving average and uh, that is usually a really good sign or very a very bullish sign considering this massive fall because that basically means that we are finding support at this area here and uh, will most likely not drop below the 200 moving average. Technical indicators are still very bearish. So this was an absolutely catastrophic drop. So at the moment, we could be drifting in the next few days, drifting back towards the 20 exponential. And that will be probably around here 17,200 to 300 level. Uh, break below the 200 moving average that opens the tidal wave to much lower, 12,500 or give or take. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has tried to rally and then just broke down yet again. Technical indicators for sugar are fairly bearish at this point, but to be very honest, last time we broke below uh, the 50 moving average, it looks something similar to this. So we could stay here chopping around for quite some time. If we don't break lower, then that is a fairly good indication that we will go, go higher from here. But break below here opens the door to 0 0.15 and then towards 0 0.14 and the 200 moving average. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point. So yes, uh, this is a um, commodity I would be very um, wary of trading in because it can go basically both ways. So let's look at cotton. So cotton dropped below the 50 moving average and then it rallied. So that is a very positive sign, even though cotton is in a downtrend at this current stage. Technical indicators, they are slowly turning around, but because we rallied and then ended at the 50 moving average, that could be a sign that we could see uh, green candlestick here tomorrow that takes out this top and then we go higher from there. So this is a very a good sign for this that we did not break below. But a break below this 
then we go to 0 0.8 and then even lower than that. So let's look at Cocoa. So Cocoa has rallied from the 50 or 20 exponential. It is also similar to, for example, aluminium is basically all over the place and volume. So at this point, um, I've said it several times, I would not be interested basically trading this without trading it at the top here or trading it at the bottom. This is just a bunch of mishmash. It can, you can enter at one point and it can go either way and you can basically get stuck in your trade and, and so on. So this is just uh, um, a bunch of gambling trading it at this point. Therefore, I just say, I would say far away from this. So let's look at wheat. So wheat is also just hanging on the thread here at uh, the 50 and the 20 exponential. We did break really heavily, roughly 2% down, 1.5% down, and then we rallied, but we're still ended just underneath the 50 moving average. At this point, if we break above the 20 and 50, then we could open the door to 685. Break below these lows here, opens the, uh, the door to these lows, 626, and then to 600. At the moment, technical indicators, they are fairly bearish. So probability that this drops is kind of, well, it is, we'll have to see. It's, uh, the concurrent, if you look at the technical indicators, it will basically say it will be dropping. But because we found this pullback here and this hammer, you probably see a rally towards the upside. But tomorrow will tell. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.